Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial, we're going to take a look at dealing with some overexposed footage in Premiere Pro. I got this requested to me, and I thought, Psh, I don't want to do that, and then I got some footage that was overexposed, so I was like, well, I guess I'll make a tutorial. So without further ado, let's hop into Premiere Pro and get started. So I have this lovely shot of this lovely band called Weathered Souls. I'm not sure if they have any stuff out yet because I looked for them and couldn't find much except for a Facebook page, but they're really good. So maybe whenever their EP comes out sometime down the line, whenever you are watching this, you'll be able to see it. You'll see that it is definitely not, not correct. So let's go ahead and add some color correction to it. So we will first go up to window and go to Lumetri color. Just tear this out and now we've got that and then we'll also go window lumetri scopes and we'll be using some scopes i normally don't use tons of scopes but for correction stuff like this they are super handy so we've got all this looking good i'm normally working on many many monitors so i apologize for things being a little bit cluttered on just one all right so now we've got this all looking good well our workspace not this video because it is still very much overexposed so there's an even better section yeah whenever she's really just lighten it up very cool and side note this was shot on the blackmagic pocket cinema camera uh, with the rec 709 setting in pro res proxy because it was a concert and you know sometimes sometimes you don't need all that stuff and then whenever you think you don't need it you get overexposed nonsense like this so the first thing I'm going to do is go to basic correction and we're just going to try and bring our exposure down and see how much that helps. And be sure to take a look at our waveforms over here. You can see that uh, our lady is really clipping hard, but you see as we bring this down, we're actually getting a little bit of detail back. Look, it's not just flat. There's actual stuff in there. So I was thinking, oh man, Theo, you shot this ProRes proxy. There's no way you have latitude, but... We have some stuff there, just enough to make it not unacceptable. So it's still not beautiful, but it's not terrible. And, you know, sometimes that's all you need. So I'm not going to bring the exposure down that much. I'm going to bring it probably about there. And I'm going to hop over to our highlight slider and bring this down a good little bit. And go to our whites, bring them down. And I like doing it this way just because it's a little bit more control. And it makes it look a little bit less sort of muddy the exposure can really muddy up your image some but now you know we're looking okay you know definitely better than we were before but now it's still looking pretty washed out even with shooting this rec 709 so i'm gonna bump the saturation up a little bit but that's gonna really make our blues explode let's go to our vector scope and bring that guy out there you see we're getting some hardcore stuff happening so we'll go over to our curves and the fact that Premiere now has Hoover saturation curve is just, oh, thank you so much, Premiere. Now give us the rest of them. But still, I won't complain. We just sort of start backing this off. And you can see we're really controlling what's going on down here, which is really nice. Because I know any of y'all who shoot concerts a lot know that people, lighting guys, love bright blue and bright red. And our cameras are especially not fond of bright, bright blue. Bright red is bad, but not as bad. You know, why can't they light? Anyway, that's, that's off topic and nothing that I should be complaining about. So now that's looking slightly better, but we still have these completely washed out skin tones. And there's not really a whole lot we can do to bring them back here. If we were in DaVinci Resolve, we could do a little bit more. You can see that this guy isn't, isn't doing much. So what I ended up doing for this to take care of that so I wouldn't have to bring it in Resolve because this project definitely did not have the budget to go into Resolve, which is why the footage was overexposed to begin with. We'll go up to our creative section, and now we'll just tint our highlights. And you can do this in curves also. But I'm sort of tinting them sort of towards the skin color. And you know what? I might even go into curves and do this a little bit. So add a point here. Bring up the reds just a bit. Bring down the blues just a bit. 
and now all of a sudden they are less ghostly you know nonsense and you know not the whole video is like this so we'll have to check and make sure that they still look okay otherwise but so far we're definitely looking less bad and less bad i'm all about that so pretty big difference there Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, we've got socials down in the description below. The best place to recommend a tutorial is right on the wall of the Meester Media Facebook page, because then other people can like it, and I can have everything all in one place. Also, be sure to check out MeesterMedia.com, especially, you know, this little hidden section called MeesterMedia.com slash products, where we've got the bright lights light leak pack which is just oh oh that's all i got to say about that and we've got the house let's pack which everyone just loves so much i always love getting little download confirmations next i'm like man that guy or gal has good taste so once again i've been theo with Mr. media i hope you have a great day and i will see you next time bye <laughs>